Bootstrap is a CSS wrapper that allows you to add tags, IDs, and class names into your HTML, which automatically wraps it in cool styling that Bootstrap has already put together for you. So it's essentially like a way to make CSS faster. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to attach Bootstrap to your project and then also go through an example of how I use it or how to use it for everyday use. So here we are on Bootstrap. So if we take a look at this site, um, the first thing it says is to basically install it. Now you can install it using NPM, which is a Node.js kind of package manager. And I have a whole video on what Node.js is, so I'll link that below. But essentially just click read the docs and then we're going to kind of just copy the link and put it in there because we don't have to do a whole install or anything just so you can see how it works. So essentially what I'm gonna do is I need to set up the project and I gotta follow these instructions, but I'll show you kind of the easier way to do it. So the first thing you need to do is create a folder. So this is what I do. So I go, okay, let's call this a bootstrap, right, example. So go ahead and make a folder. And then what I like to do is I just like to drop that folder straight into VS Code. So I just take this folder and I drop it right here. And then I can close out of this. And now we have our example project folder. Now, then I go ahead and I make, um, let's just make an HTML, uh, we'll call it index.html file. Super easy, I'm gonna press an exclamation point in order to get the project set up. Now you'll see it has created like a little package here. Um, and then I'm gonna add a little CSS because I want to show you what it looks like just regularly. So I have an index.html and a CSS, so super basic. Every time I have to look this up in order to remember how to freaking link these things together. So no shame in that, like it's just how it is. So we're going to add this up here and link it to my style. So just make sure this matches your CSS name. Um, save that. And so we're going to take a look at what this will look like. So we're gonna reveal in File Explorer, double click, just have that on the side here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna put this side by side so you can get a glimpse of how it works. So if we look at a normal button, right? So normal button, let's say click me. Great, save, refresh this. This is a normal button, right? This is what you're used to seeing. And then you have to go through and name this thing like class, class um, equals, uh, we want to call it button style or something, button style, right? And then you got to go, um, we'll save that, go to styles and do dot button style and then add your CSS. So you can do like the background color as blue and you can do your, your color uh, as white, right? Cool. And then you save that and then refresh this and then it, you know, you do this. And then you can do like border radius to make it border radius to like add some, you know, cornering if we want to get really fancy with it. Cool, refresh. And then you kind of play around with it. You can tweak it a little bit and it's kind of a pain, right? Like you have to do a lot of CSS build up in order to get this thing to look semi, semi decent. So you do your, all your CSS and blah. Now, Bootstrap is a way to just make that process just slightly easier. So what we're going to do is we just have to link it in here. So in our head, we actually just have to paste a link. So if we go to Bootstrap, um, their link is down here, this guy, and I'm just going to copy it. And as long as you did that exclamation point to just set up the project, you just add this link right here. Control V. Great. I'm going to save it. And then you can search in here and let's just search button. And let's see what we got here. So let's say I want a primary button. It looks like I just have to have the class equals this. So as long as I make a button like this and put the class equals, and then I paste the class in there, I should get a button that looks like the primary button here. So if I press save and I go here and refresh, um, let me add some text, click me so you can see the difference, save, refresh, bam, you have a nice button that's basically styled for you. So then you don't have to mess around with CSS too much. You can just, just pull some basic generic buttons off of here. 
but it doesn't stop there. You can do more than that. So um, I could even add a form. Like let's say I went to forms and you know, I wanted a email address and password. Super simple, right? I can literally copy the code, <laughs> paste it in here, press save, control R to refresh, and I have a fully functioning form here, um, CSS wise in here. And like that to me is so powerful. And then you can just go in here and you can delete things, you know, like if you wanted to change um, the text, you know, like we'll never share your email with anyone else. Maybe you don't want that. You can delete and edit it. So it's not completely getting rid of, it's not really copy and paste. You have to be able to edit it, understand CSS and HTML, how it all works together, but it just makes your life easier as a developer. So you're not fidgeting around with making individual labels and inputs when you could just copy this form, right? And just paste it in there. And then you, it's nice and pretty. It, it looks decent, you know, add some padding and then you're good to go. Um, they also have it for JavaScript as well. So um, we didn't go over that here, but back in the introduction, you can actually copy their, their JavaScript one as well. So you can use the JavaScript form of Bootstrap. So it's not just CSS, it's JavaScript as well. So to just make it fully functional, but for the sake of this video, understanding Bootstrap, it's not that complicated. You literally, it just makes CSS easier. It's just a CSS wrapper. You just need to pull all the little um, class names and IDs from Bootstrap and make sure that you have it linked up here and you're good to go. You can also install it using, you know, NPM or another package manager, but for the most part, this is as simple as it gets. <laughs> it just makes styling just simpler and just much easier and less of a headache when you are getting your project up and running. Now, how I learned CSS and JavaScript and all the front end languages is I actually took a class called She Codes. It's specifically for women and it's really fun, very engaging. The lessons are really awesome. You go ahead and click a class and you'll see you have a nice video, some notes down at the bottom, and then you have these little lessons and you just kind of follow along usually have a challenge and a solution and you do a couple homework assignments. There are due dates and project feedback and stuff like that, but I highly recommend it if you're interested in front end development. I will link my discount code below if you want to take a SheCodes course. Highly recommend, I took all four courses all the way through React, so I am completely done with front end development and it was like the best way to learn. It's just like this where they just walk through it and they just split the screen. It's really nice and totally recommend. Now it is important just to stay up to date with these technologies because people are going to use these little tips and tricks along the way to build their websites. And you're gonna be behind if you're still styling everything manually using CSS, especially when you have a, such a nice wrapper with good documentation like Bootstrap. It's just kind of a no brainer if you wanna get your website up and running a little bit faster and just using kind of the industry standard CSS wrapper. Now, if you're interested in seeing how I installed Bootstrap for an Angular project using NPM, using Node.js, I will link it up here because sometimes it's nice to just have a walkthrough, step-by-step -step guide and just follow along. So I'll link that up here. Otherwise, I will see you guys next time.